Mom Magician, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful citrus painting. Let's get into this. You'll need a canvas, a pencil, eraser, and you'll need a mixing container, a compass, and some paintbrushes, and water, and of course, you'll need some paint. My category, my categories are red, orange, yellow, and all the aquas, green slash blues. Now it's time to trace out our citrus fruits. So, I'm just gonna use my compass and it's measuring about one and a half inch. And I want it to be more at the top of the canvas and I'm, I flip it vertically. And now I want the citrus fruit, the circle, to go outside of the canvas so I can make a nice little another one right here where it finishes. So that's why I'm going to start my circle off the canvas. Since I have four colors, I'm going to do this to all four and then I'm going to overlap them. Now that we have our circles nice and ready, we are ready to erase them, but make sure we still see them. I made mine overlapping because I realized that they couldn't fit across my vertical canvas. So, um, since I made them overlapping, I am just going to erase one side of my Venn diagram. So now it looks like this and it's not overlapping. And I could fiddle around with it. And now as you can see they're like little slices. And now I'm just going to put my eraser like this horizontally and just erase. It's nice and erased, but I can still see them, and that's good. And now we are going to make our little gears for the triangles inside of the citrus fruit. For the triangles, I'm, pretend that you're only seeing this one circle. And his name is Mr. Circle. And now, within the middle of Mr. Circle, we'll be making a little baby circle. There, that's baby circle. And now we are going to be making those gears, like the engineering thingies. I know what they are, but they're like mechanical stuff and they look like gears. So I'm gonna be making a little arrow like this. And so now it looks like this. And now I'm gonna be making again another arrow right above it, above the baby circle. So now it looks like that. And now I'm gonna tilt my canvas like this and then make it along this arrow right here. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna tilt my canvas like this and make another arrow. And yeah, now I'm gonna tilt my canvas again and I'm just making these arrows diagonal to each other. And hopefully you should end up with eight, hold on, yeah, eight little arrows. Oh, it looks like those things. And now we're just gonna erase it slightly. Now we are going to be taking one of our arrows from our little gears and extending the line like this. So then it forms a little triangle. And this is gonna be just like the triangles in the citrus fruits. And now we could do it diagonally. It's important to do it above or diagonal because if you do it the other way, then it won't be even.
And so now I'm just going to do that for all of the rest of the, my little arrows and making sure that I'm going diagonally. Now it looks like this at the end, but it's still not complete. We need to fill in these gaps right in between our little triangles. So what I'm gonna do, and this is if you do have gaps, and I do have gaps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna extend my line along my other triangle. And now I'm gonna do the same to this circle, making sure that there isn't really much white space around. I'm gonna do that all around to my other little triangles. So now I've extended my triangles along them so they're a little bit closer together. And now I'm just gonna do the same process to all of these other three little citrus circles. So now I have four beautiful oranges. And what I've done is I've erased it with this eraser i really like these erasers because they have a nice fine tip at the end so you could get anywhere you want to get like at the baby circle because you don't want that showing and now this part is optional but i think it adds good touch to the painting so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add pretty drips and if you want yours blended you could blend them out but i don't want mine blended so i'm not gonna blend them out so I'm just gonna move my pencil in a drip motion. And it's gonna end there and come back. And it's gonna go. Now once again, I'm gonna slightly erase my drip so that you can't really see it, but you can see it. Now it's time for the fun part, making the first paint stroke. I'm gonna be starting with my first little citrus fruit and it's gonna be red. So here are the shades of red I'm using, bright red, crimson, red, pink, and light pink. So. And this drip is like how the colors just drip down onto the canvas. And then once you hang it up vertically, it just looks so cool. And yeah, so what? So now we're going to decide on the outer ring of our citrus fruit, meaning the circle part. And I'm gonna be using a darker color and then a slightly lighter color, which means it's my bright red and my normal red so let's get on to the outer ring and i'm gonna be um some clear i mean clean water and little tiny inky weensy paint brushes okay so now i've laid down my red and my bright red onto my little palette plate and now the outer ring is going to be red. So I'm just gonna take my medium sized paintbrush, dip it in and just first watch me because you never know what's gonna happen. Well, if you fast forward, but whatever. You're just gonna paint on the circle, The mis you're gonna paint on Mr. Circle. So after I've painted on Mr. Circle, I'm going to be laying down some colors of paint to, to paint in the triangles, which are red, light pink, and normal pink. You could use other colors if you desire, but I'm gonna use the ones that are on my plate because I think they're good. I'm gonna start at the tip of one triangle and go in there with a bright red and 
gonna make the tip of the triangle. I'm doing streaks and strokes, not really um, painting, just strokes because I want it to look like those little thingies in the Clementines, if you get me. I'm going to make the tip as dark as I can and try to blend it out, but still make it look streaky and just light strokes like this. After continuing to darken up the point of the triangle, I'm going to bring in a pink color and just make the highlights of the juicy and delicious yummy looking citrus fruit. I don't really know what the citrus fruit is called because after all it's pink slash red. So yeah, I'm just making stuff with my imagination and you could do that too. Just in case your highlighting color takes over with your darker color, you could always add some more of that darker color to just make it get out there more and pop out. But make sure your highlighting color is still there and you could just fill around with it until you got it. You could even add some white highlights to make everything pop and look nice and juicy. Make sure you continue to do this with all of the other triangles in the same motion and make sure you go diagonal to the triangle that you previously did, just like our arrows. And now that I've and now that I got all my, um, what are these, triangles done, I could make the background. And if you want to leave it white, you can, but I don't want it. Because I think I'll just, boom. Okay, anyways, I'm going to take my red. I'm going to mix my red and my pink together. See what it makes. And for this background color, I prefer going with a lighter color because I think it looks prettier, but you can go with a darker color. And I chose maybe a little bit lighter. And you can fidget around with this un until you get the color you want. And then you could just paint it in your background. So now I've got all my color ready and I tested it out and then I wanted to add more white so I did and now we're just going to go back over this with our new color and make sure it's really light so people know the difference of where are your triangles is and where the gap is and make sure you're painting this with a really tiny paintbrush like this I'm just going to repeat the same process with the other third, fourth, I mean, second, third, and fourth oranges, I mean, not oranges, but citrus fruits, and making sure I'm getting them all done. But I'm going to do the background, Mr. Circle, the background, and then the juicy stuff, juicy highlights and stuff, making it look good and stuff with the triangles. I'm going to do this with all of my other citrus fruits, taking my time and paying attention. So now it's time to move on to the drip. So how I'm gonna color the drip is it's gonna be in very light pastel colors, which means it's gonna be the colors of these triangles, the background of it. That means this light pink and this orangey peachy color, this yellow white, and this other color in the background of the triangles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint them for each one. This one gonna go. So this, I just noticed that the process is taking a little bit longer. So why not go for a shortcut? Shake a, shake a, shake a. That 
looks about right, I should do that shortcut every time. I've added a little bit highlight to the drip with my white Posca pen because it needed a little bit dimension. I hope you liked this pro project and if you did, smash a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>